black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all. Today is a fridge dive day. I got some stuff I got to use up. We used cream the other day. I got to use that up. I got some broth here. So I'm thinking also this broccoli here that I have left over from last week. I need to make a broccoli cheddar soup. One of my favorites, cream of broccoli and cheddar. I got this cheddar here I got to use up. And then we made that sandwich from the Adam Sandler video. We got the sourdough here. And I love a good toasted tomato sandwich with mayonnaise slopped all over it. So just a quick fridge dive day, use some thangs up. We're gonna make soup, a sandwich, one of my favorites. I love cream of broccoli, cheddar soup, and I love a toasted tomato sandwich. So we're just doing like a fridge dive, nice lunch day. Let's get into it. All right, nice and easy soup. We got two tablespoons of butter here. We're just gonna slowly melt this down. I got some leftover onions as well here from the Coney dogs. We might as well put those in. So you know this butter and onion come together real quick, nice low and slow. Don't burn any butter. We don't like to burn butter. All right, we're gonna come in with maybe two tablespoons of flour as well. We're gonna cook down a roux. Slowly work this into the butter. Cook off that floury flavor a little bit. All right, coming in with a little veggie broth. You could use chicken if you want, but I'm gonna do veggie for mine. Maybe a cup or so, two cups. While that's coming up to temp, we wanna come in with our cream because we do not wanna burn and separate the cream. So we wanna bring the cream up nice and slowly. That's probably about two cups. Slowly bring this together. Okay, so we're coming into a slow little simmer here and I'm just gonna straight up shave off the top of this Restless broccoli, we do not need no stems. We just need the tops of this leftover broccoli. So I'm just gonna shave this in here, let it cook off a little while, let it get a little bit soft, but it doesn't really even matter because I am gonna blend this off with my immersion blender. All right, simmering and working, and simmering and working, and thickening and simmering and working. And that's what we're simmering and thickening and working with. All right, speaking about thickening, I got some leftover pieces of this mozzarella from the fettuccine and the breadsticks video. And I also have this bag of cheddar cheese that I gotta use up. And then lastly on the fly, I did see this little pack of real bacon. I just have these last tablespoon about. I'm gonna introduce that because gotta use it up. Coming together real nice and cheesy and thick. So now that we are where we are with it, we're just gonna taste for salt. I'm gonna have to introduce some, but I just wanna know how much. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think it needs any. That cheese is salty enough somehow. Oh, and the broth I put in. I think it's perfect. It's actually really perfect. Last but not least, just gonna pulse off some of these florets and just make it a little more of a smoother, less chunky style soup. And there it is. A nice, beautiful, creamy, cheesy, semi-chunky, but not super chunky. Broccoli soup. All right, the sourdough toast is in. In the meantime, just gotta make ourselves some nice slices of this cold, juicy tomato, nice uniform. Not too thin, not too thick either though. Slices. After this, we're building sandwiches and pouring up the soup. And then we're eating my favorite lunch. All right, the perfect toast incoming. Not too crisp, not too soft. Just right, Goldilocks zone. All right, let's build this. Plenty, and I mean plenty of mayonnaise on these sandwiches. It's what creates the interaction between all that tomato juice, the fat and the acid, when combined in large helpings together, just creates something otherworldly. Slice by slice by slice. Sprinkle of salt. Definitely gotta have the salt to bring these together. And then a pinch of the cracked pepper. Close the lid, and that right there may be, may very well be the best simple sandwich known to man. 
on a stack. It might be the most perfect thing ever. Pour up our nice, beautiful hot soup. If it's gonna be a proper cheesy cream of broccoli, we have to add a nice chunk of cheese in the middle. Fridge dive creamy broccoli, leftover stuff, soup, and toasted tomato sandwiches. Let's eat. All right, y'all. Welcome to my childhood, AKA my favorite lunch meal ever, soup. Something we don't see often around here. Very rarely eat it, but if it's the right soup, it can't be contested. A bomb ass soup is a bomb ass soup, okay? So, two of the most, arguably in my world, the most perfect sandwich ever made. The best soup, in my opinion, for me, cream of broccoli, cheddar, and my favorite cracker ever in the world is a wheat thin, the multi-grain more specifically. We're gonna put them on top, all right? And then we're gonna thoroughly enjoy this. Cause this to me is like coming home for lunch, ultimate comfort food. And to be honest with you, when I say this is my most favorite lunch ever, I mean that. You'd be hard pressed to find a better lunch for me in the known universe. And that's why buttery, salty, crispy as shit, the best, absolute best cracker there is. Oh man. <laughs> A rainy day in a bowl. Your grandma in a bowl. Ultimate comfort and flavor. In a bowl. So easy to make. Comes out with the most flavor. Just the best. All right. If you've never, and I know this is a polarizing sandwich to some, because tomato is something that a lot of people don't like, but if you get a good, good bread like this and you toast it up just right. Mm. And you lather it up with mayo. Salt and pepper. Be the best five ingredient sandwich. That you've ever had. It just drips.
and tastes absolutely phenomenal. I was introduced to this sandwich at a very young age. It was tuna sandwiches, toasted tomatoes, mm, egg salad here and there. Those were pretty much the mains. Now this is a strange move for me. I wouldn't usually do this, but I know that those sandwich soup dunkers out there are going to be pissed if I don't at least do it with one. I'm open to trying new things with classics, but personally I'd say it's not the right kind of sandwich to be a Dunkin' sandwich. Right there, that's what it's all about. The juicy ass end. <laughs> Absolute perfection. I'm so the type of person that like, you could take me to all the fancy restaurants, the five stars, get me to eat all this Michelin star dishes and whatnot. Okay, cool. mind-blowing techniques and concepts and things like that. Perhaps the flavor is pretty amazing. But you sit me down in front of this meal. Five out of five all day. Great food. It does not have to be fancy. Or high end. It just needs to work. And this works. I was one of those kids who was lucky enough to live close enough to school that I got to go home for lunch. So I got like fresh. Real homemade lunches. Pretty much most days. And it's crazy to think back to that. In that time, like, when I was in like grade, like, two, three, four, like, young, I just walked home. Like, we didn't have Like nowadays, I would I would be hard pressed to believe that anyone is allowing a grade three. It's 
to walk four blocks home. But that's how it was back then. Parents allowed it, teachers allowed it. And we ended up fine. Did some dumb shit on the way home, obviously. Getting in little play fights and... I don't know. Throwing random shit at car, cars and whatnot. Just being little assholes. A different time. But we made it out unscathed. And possibly with more life fortitude because of it. enough nice and full nice and warm <laughs> warm the insides warm the heart warm the soul <laughs> reminiscing on the past so addictively delicious just all these things but I'm back hard on the one meal a day thing and my my appetite size my stomach size is definitely constricting a little bit just because it's like that one time fill your stomach starts to realize like it doesn't need a ton of eats anyways hope you enjoyed it i definitely enjoyed it till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true